26. Okay. Um, so I've just carried forward some of the um cool quests from last time, see if that's made any progress in these. Or if there's anything we need to do to make progress. Okay, uh so this one. Okay, looks like we we're getting some over now. Hey, uh, hey, do you want to bring up that uh, timeout uh, discussion we are having? I think it'll be good to talk it out here. Yeah. Uh, I'll share the link of that comment. Okay. Yeah, um, I can give some background. So, Ryan, basically, the there is a difference between the real uh vmi 100 vmi test that we have and this 1000 vmi fake test and that difference is that um for the uh, real vmis we don't wait between two tests so what we do is we have three different kinds of tests vmi vm and then vm with preference and all of them go one after another immediately well this one the fake one, we have added a five minute delay in between to make sure that the deletion of 1000 VMIs uh, resource utilization doesn't impact the creation of next one. Uh, so we, we've added a hard coded delay in between and there was a discussion if that is really required or not. So you're saying you're creating you're creating a thousand VMs or waiting five minutes and then we're deleting a thousand. No, the uh we are creating thousand, we are waiting for all of them to go to running state, then we are deleting them. Uh sorry, then we are collecting metrics. Uh Shija, can you share the order? I forget this third part yeah uh, we are creating vmis uh, 1000 vmis and then we are waiting uh, for all of them to go to running and then collect metrics and then we are waiting for 5 minutes uh, to bring the metrics to study state and then we are deleting all the vmis oh well in that case i think we have answered right that it seems that this doesn't make sense here. The, the question is whether we want to do this after the after the test or not, right? That's the question. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think, I mean, so we, we probably want to do the metric grave after. But I guess so. There, I I could see there being a reason for doing this, but I mean, I think the purpose would be so that we can control um, when we're going to be looking at metrics. Like we're gonna be, because we're because if we're gonna do, I, mean, I think we're. I mean, I guess we could technically do multiple scrapes and and multiple audit tool runs, but. I don't know if we want to do that. I mean, I think, um, I mean, I think like, so I guess the value here is that if you want to control the time period that you're running or getting the metrics and reading them and digesting them, then yeah, you can, you know, you probably want to do this, but um, I don't know. I mean, is that necessary? Cause like, I think if you, what I would do, I guess here is that um, I, I wouldn't, at least give yourself a time so that everything's gone running and you can at least have um, probably 30 seconds like you do sleep for one grape. Um, and then before you start with the delete, but I, I don't know if you need five minutes, might be. 
because the metric should should um should be available after one scrape, so it should be thirty seconds. Or is it something like what makes you think that we need five minutes? Like, is it is it what you're seeing that like we're there? There's a bunch of inconsistencies that and we need to wait this long. So I think the five minute part of it is uh, okay. We can change it to say one minute, like two scrape interval or one scrape interval, right? The main main crux of the discussion is should we be waiting between two tests or uh, should we let them go, you know, immediately after one after another? Two tests, like delete being the second test, or no, that, between a thousand and a hundred. No, the between creating thousand VMs, VMIs, yeah, and yeah, oh. VMs and VMI. Okay, um, I think we do. I don't think it matters. Um, as long as you give yourself a, at least guarantee that one scrape has occurred like and you've gathered the metrics then um the audit tool should only look at the time window that you're doing your test so it, there should be so in other words like it, it should partition itself correctly where the audit tool is only going to look from time zero to time two and then you know then you have there you have two scrapes let's say so then we start again at time four and audit tool will look from time four to time six. So having like an arbitrary sleep in between of like five minutes, it's, it's kind of, it's probably unnecessary. Like you, I, I would think of it in terms of scrape, the number of scrapes. If you want to give yourself one scrape interval or two, I mean, that's should be the, all you need. I don't, I don't think you'll need more than that. Yeah, I think that's, that's what, uh, uh, that that's my most recent thought process. So I think Srija, we can we can make that uh, case that in between the two tests, we can either wait for one or two scrape intervals, and that will make sure that the metrics have settled down, uh, and we can let the other test go. Yeah, uh, so uh, can we use that primer test like the other test? The primer mm -hmm. is supposed to only run when no none of the tests have started, right? So uh, yeah, th that will be the zeroth step, then the first step will kick in, and then the second step will kick in. So between the first and the second, even if you invoke the primer, it will not have a wait time. At, at least that's my understanding. Okay. Uh, so instead of uh, running only once, can we uh, run it in before each before each spec or test? You want to run the primer before each test? Yeah. Uh. So we can you, have this in before each. So which ca we can run this. Uh. Before two tests. You shouldn't that need the take. primer before before um each test. It should. You should only need to have a primer if you um if you stand up a new cluster and it's the first VMI, first time creating a VMI in that cluster. So I believe it's the same cluster, so you shouldn't need it. Okay, yeah. Yeah. And and Teresa, the reason is that we like we there's some if you want to read more about it, there's the the some metrics we use that are um based on um their interpolation, they do um they an estimate over time. So you have to have to do interpolation, you have to have uh, something to compare to. So you have to create the first marker um, so that then later you have something to estimate, you know, over, you know, a, a, a certain amount of time. 
and uh, something to compare it to. Otherwise, you just you get the uh, metrics are all way off. So the point is like that's why if you if you stand up a new cluster and you want to do interpolation, the first VMI is uh you have to have one VMI created and then the rest of them will will work for inter interpolation. So in this case, it won't. Um, you you should already be primed. The it should, it should be using the same cluster, so you can keep reusing it. So you don't have to prime. Yeah, yeah, got it. Okay. All right. Does that answer? Um. Does that answer what we're getting at here? I think it, I think it does. Yeah. So, so I think to conclude, uh, we need we would need two things. One is to place that uh, sleep in after all after each block, and then add the uh, primer block before the first. Uh, add the primer block when the cluster is fresh. Right. I think those are the missing parts as of now. Yes. Yeah, you need to run that time. Yeah, when if you're if it's the first test you're running in a suite, I think I think that's what we do. This that's when we stand up a cluster. Yeah, you need to run the primer. Yeah, I'll update it. Okay. Okay. Good. All right. Well, it looks like you're getting some good feedback on this. That's good. Um. And this is one, this is integrate with six scale. And then this is the other one. Um oh, is this an issue? Oh no, it's a pull request. Okay. Um uh this one is blocked on the other VR. It's blocked on uh, okay. Oh no, we merged this. All right, wait. Oh, it's still it's still blocked. Though, is what you're saying? No, this one is the optional pre-submit. We merged it so we could test this job. Okay. Uh, I mean, we could we could use the second merge that you were saying to test uh, the pre-submit on this pull request, right? But the other open PR is for a uh, periodic post submit, periodic job, and for that we need to merge this. Okay. All right. Well, it sounds like what I'm hearing is that you you have you're getting data right now. Like you're not blocked. Like you're getting data and and like we're iterating and adding a few things and to eventually get to the periodic. And okay. I think I think that's good. Then so all right. So we need to. So this is the one we need, right? And and then we can the other one should um we can get to and we see. Yeah. This is this was the other one. Um. This one, um, okay, good. So we're getting reviews on this. This is good. Um, okay, yeah, keep pushing on this. Like, I like it might be a little bit frustrating at times just to get attention, but let's keep, um, you know, if whatever we have to do to help people to get attention on this. I mean. Is really important, and I think there's definitely a lot of interest to get these merged. So, looks like we're getting a feedback there. Okay, good. Yeah, these are exciting. Do you have like um, um, some initial data? Like, are any opinions on like what we're seeing, or is it too early to? We still need to make a few more changes before we can kind of learn a little bit about what we're seeing and and. In these values. So, um, uh, I I looked at it, the data a couple of weeks back. I'm blurring out on some of the details, but one thing I distinctly remember, Ryan, is that mm -hmm. from this uh, Quark uh, PR, we would be able to get um, the scheduling time. So 
VMI creation to scheduled time. Uh, and, and that will depend on the scheduler, right? So we currently don't have VMI creation to schedule tracked in, in our 100, uh, 100 density test. So we don't have numbers to compare with. But if we do, then at least until create creation to schedule will be something we would be able to compare here. We won't be able to compare creation to running because after scheduled, uh, the uh, quark controller drives it to running state. So yeah. uh, we won't be able to do that, but at least the previous phase will be able to uh, compare cube schedule. Okay. Yeah, then maybe we should add it. I think that would be good to see. That's just another thing we can um, we can measure for performance. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the other thing I remember uh, is that all of these get and list calls don't make sense for uh, the quark tests. I think the only thing that makes sense for quark tests are control plane resource utilization. Because a portion of get and list calls are made by on node component like word handler and word launcher. And well, not word launcher, launcher just word handler. And we don't have that uh, in in case of we, we shouldn't so then is would we not see them show up I, I mean i'm not i mean not these but for example but like you, you're saying there's some lists and gets that we normally see in their regular job so we shouldn't see them right like they shouldn't appear at all no it, these are just for work word controller or word api so what do you are you saying we should we need to change the audit tool or is it that um that the, we can't compare the these lists um, between Quark and the, and the real one? Yeah, the second part. We can't compare okay. apples to apples because this will only be half the components and then, or maybe a two thirds the component and then uh, word handler is, is what will be added here to get you the entire stack. So okay. maybe what we'll do yeah. is like when it comes time, we'll have to, we'll adjust our graphs like, because we're not going to have this, we'll just have to have a quark set of graphs that are just going to have, you know, fewer things in them. We'll publish different things, I guess. Yeah. Uh, the other thing that will, you know, now that we are discussing the, this, one thing that comes to my mind is the way we could use these numbers is, let's say if you see a get or a list called spike up uh, in in the 100 VMI, but you don't see it spike up here. That means that it's coming from word handler. And if you see it spike up in both the cases, then it is coming from uh, controller or API. We can kind of use this as a, a reference of where the change could be, but uh, we, we would not be able to compare it exact. Okay. Okay, that's good. Okay, yeah, looking forward to that. That's this is cool. Um, definitely want to see. I mean, I'm really excited to see like this test. We get to a thousand. I mean, it would be cool to see. I mean, what other levels we can support, um, with the cluster. I mean, if there's, and we still have that dedicated cluster that we could use. I mean, maybe there's even higher numbers we can get to. We can get to like ten thousand, twenty thousand, other interesting levels and see what that yields. Okay. Okay. All right, anything else, guys? Okay. All right, we'll end it early then. Thank you. Have a good day. Thanks, folks.